Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for being here with me today. As you can see, we're taking a look at this strawberry shortcake doll. This is plum pudding. A uh, little disclosure here. I haven't had a strawberry shortcake doll since I was in kindergarten, which was in the very, very early 2000s. So if at any point you think this person doesn't know what she's talking about, that's because I don't, because I am only just getting back into them now. So I will be taking a look at this doll as a doll fan as opposed to like a particular strawberry shortcake fan. Now you may have noticed that plum pudding here looks a little bit rough in the box currently. She is pretty disheveled in there. The glasses are crooked and her dress is kind of doing its own thing. But um, that's okay because we're not keeping her in the box anyways. Um, I did immediately go to just pull her out of the box like I normally would and then I realized that that would spoil what the four surprises here are so I put the cardboard back together and we're gonna go ahead and um, open the surprises as intended. Obviously we'll start with number one. We're not gonna break the rules on the sequence that we're supposed to open these I guess. The first one is you know the the sort of filler surprise that is just a tiny little comb. Uh, it's it's cute, but um, you know, in ways of surprises, that's definitely not a not the top tier one. Uh, so, anyways, we move on to the second one here, um, which is definitely a better one. Uh, it is this cute little pet. Uh, it looks like um, this tiny little owl, and I believe that this owl is ho holding an accordion. I'm not entirely in on the lore of a strawberry shortcake and plum pudding yet, but um, yeah, it, I think that it's very cute that it's holding an accordion, and this little guy definitely has a very 80s vibe, which, duh, makes perfect sense for it being <laughs> strawberry shortcake. There's a lot of nice little painted details here, like the stripes and stuff, and it's all nice and very neatly done. Like, um, I'm always impressed to see so much painted detail on a, a smaller piece like this. Then, let's move on to our third surprise. Now, of course, of the surprises, I think that the best ones are the little lunch boxes, and there's there's no imagery like on the box depicting the lunch boxes, um, but there's definitely one that's in a couple of pictures on the Amazon listing. But unfortunately we didn't get a lunch box, but we did get this cute little grape purse, which is enjoyable, so we won't complain. And then we will go in to see what surprise number four is. And I was kind of surprised that it was a hat. I didn't pay super close attention to the listing and or, or like the little imagery on the back that shows that one of the surprises might be a hat. And frankly, I was very surprised that there would be a hat because she's already wearing one. And um, obviously right now, it's this is, isn't a super like finished product looking hat. It's, it's just it's not folded the way that it needs to be folded to go onto the doll head yet. But fear not, because we will try this on uh, on our doll in just a little bit. Um, it's like it's very simple, but the little iron-on patch there is quite cute. Now it's finally time to get our doll out and take a look. And um, I really just want to get the glasses straightened out for her. But there was like a little bonus here that I didn't know was going to be there, and it is this sticker sheet uh it's they're very cute stickers they're not plum pudding stickers like they're strawberry shortcake stickers but i'm i'm not complaining about that and they're really cute and i definitely want to find a use for these and you know it's always fun to get little bonus stickers that you weren't expecting so i'm really excited to see this doll and to smell this doll because they're supposed to be scented and i love scented dolls um like I said, I don't know much about the lore of these dolls, um, so I don't know if she's supposed to smell like plums, and frankly, I don't know what plums smell like, but I know that she has a very fruity smell and it's enjoyable for me. <laughs> now we're going to see what's going on with these glasses. They were like very much stuck to her face, and I don't know if that was like intentional, like if there's, 
they're not supposed to be removed? Like, is there some sort of factory glue that's holding these glasses in place? But whatever the case may be, they were on very crooked and, and needed to be adjusted. And <laughs> that didn't really happen. So I tried to remove them and they left this uh, glue-like residue behind that also took off um, a good amount of the paint that was on the glasses. So I do believe that I'm going to be able to remove that, but I'm not impressed with needing to remove it. Um, like it goes without saying, but the, it, that just shouldn't happen. Um, but her dress on the other hand straightened out nicely, which was the other thing about her being in, wa in the box that looked pretty wonky. Um, we are going to take a look at like, uh, her hair rooting and also her articulation. We'll start with her hair. Um, so we're gonna cut the tea tags off so we can get this hat off and take a look at her hair. Of course, like these dolls very obviously aren't meant to be restyled, so I wouldn't necessarily expect her to have hair that's rooted fantastically. Um, it's very soft. I was impressed with how soft the hair is. I'm I'm actually just not sure at all on what the hair fiber is. You can see that it it's not densely rooted at all. Like it's um it's very sparsely done. But again, like she she's wearing a hat and <laughs> she's not like the type of doll where you're buying her to restyle her. So I wouldn't necessarily have expected more of a rooting than this. And obviously, I don't know what the typical rooting patterns are of strawberry shortcake dolls, but um. That didn't particularly bother me. I really enjoy the articulation that's in the ankles there. That was unexpected. Um, so as we look at the different clothing pieces here, we'll also like look at the articulation better because once the clothing is out of the way, we'll be able to see the articulation um, even better, obviously. Uh, so we'll start by taking off the dress here. The dress, uh, we'll take a closer look at um, in a little bit. Uh, it's a really, it's actually a really impressive quality. I was really impressed with with the like the fabrics and the hemming of it. I thought was uh, definitely better than I was expecting after the <laughs> glasses issue. They even have articulation at the waist. Um, there's a lot of articulation in the arms, and I really enjoy the articulation that's in the wrist. I definitely wasn't expecting a ball joint. There's no articulation like in the neck, um, so like that affects pose ability to a certain degree. I think that like the the joints are really easily movable everywhere except for in the elbow. The one elbow was um, pretty stiff and, and hard to move, but I, uh, the legs and the wrists were particularly impressive to me. You can really see the ball joint there and that's pretty cool because I am imagining that uh, those joints will be pretty decent for doing stop motion with if I choose to do that. Now we'll take a look at the actual clothing pieces. So when we first got the hat we saw it looking like this which obviously isn't how it's intended to be worn so we just fold that up so that we can put it on our head and see how it looks. When you look at it this way, um, it's very cute and seems very classic to like the strawberry shortcake sort of style of hat with the the sort of like silhouette of it, I, I guess, if you will. And here it is um, compared to the hat that she came wearing. I definitely prefer the hat that she came wearing. It just has like a lot more detail, but this is a nice hat too. Like it, it's, you know, more casual and laid back and I think that she looks super cute in it and almost you know she can almost have like a little bit of an emo vibe here which is always good with me the iron on the iron on patch there isn't flush with the rest of the hat but that doesn't really bother me like y you can clearly see what it is and and what it's going for um but yeah there you have it uh, her in her second hat there I did try moving the hat a bit so that the blueberry was more towards the front, you know, just a personal preference thing, I guess, and how you like uh, to style your dolls. Here are those glasses that we will try to put back on her shortly. Um, but first, we'll take a look at the dress. I couldn't believe 
the nice detail of that lace on the bottom like that's like it's a very intricate design but it doesn't feel fragile at all i thought that that was super impressive like you can see um, and i don't really know anything about sewing i just know nice quality doll clothes when i see them and uh, this is very nice quality like the the top portion this this white portion um it's not as strong and as finished as the rest of the piece um but overall that's a, a very solid dress in my opinion and then here are the little tights that she comes wearing which are also a really uh, nice quality as far as i'm concerned really nice um stretch to them and also they're just really cute so definitely think that the fabric quality and the, the clothing overall is uh pretty excellent on this doll now we're just going to i just wanted to show you like putting on her hat but with like the bonus hat that was like the surprise um with her whole outfit on that hat doesn't go on like quite as easily as the one that she came wearing does like this one just like slides on and just kind of looks how it's supposed to right away uh so i definitely prefer the hat that she came wearing and then we are going to try those glasses on see how this goes and as they are they're definitely not uh shaping to her face at all or fitting they still don't really have ears to help hold them in place and the like arms of the glasses are, are far too wide for it to stay on the doll's face now a lot of times with doll glasses you can sort of like bend them and shape them to like the size of your doll's head like i'm doing here so that you can get them to stay on better but these as soon as you bend them they kind of lose the shape right away and, and go back to how they were so i really wasn't able to bend these in a way that they would comfortably just stay on her face like these still look very wonky <laughs> um so uh, definitely that's going to require some sort of tack to keep in place which i don't mind doing but that might be something that's like annoying to other people but you could remedy it with like a small amount of like that blue tack stuff that kind of looks like gum that like you use hang posters on your wall. Uh, you, you, I think you probably know what I'm talking about. So yeah, just like a small amount of that. And I know that I'll be able to get the glasses to, to stay on her nicely enough to um, display her. But like for, for play, I know that uh, having to leave the glasses on or in place for my daughters would be something that's probably just going to be annoying to them can i also just say that that cute little owl is reminding me of the tootsie pop owl with like how many looks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop and i <laughs> thoroughly enjoy that because i think that those commercials are very cute um so there you have it this is a plum pudding with all of the accessories that she came with uh you can see that she holds on to her purse pretty well which is really nice for display and then it there's also the bonus fact of like these dolls don't come with stands but they are able to stand up on their own which is always something that i enjoy as like a collector who wants to be able to put dolls on display in a way that is you know visibly appealing and overall, I really, uh, I enjoy this doll. It's definitely disappointed by the glasses issue because that's kind of what made her so appealing to me was how cute she looked with her glasses on. And like right away, my daughter's thought that the glasses were so cute. And so, you know, we'll sort it out so that it does work. But like that kind of was a little bit of a disappointment. But overall, they're really cute dolls. Well, at least this one is a very cute doll. And she very much has a fruity scent. So that's going to wrap up uh, this for today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll consider subscribing so I can see you in the next one, of course. That would make me happy. Um, but, you know, regardless, either way, just have a really great rest of your day. And thank you so much again. Okay, bye for now.